Okay, so now we're looking at 5.5. .5. Uh, this just looks like a standard plug your numbers into my formula job. So I'm going to plug them into here. So I want to find the Bucklin force. look at the problem we've got axial rod I'm not been told anything really so therefore I'm going to assume that K is 1 right so the so we'll take K to be 1 so that will be the, the buckling So what we got here? I've got pi squared. I've got two hundred giga. Have I got the i? No, but that's easy enough. So we've got pi. Uh, the rod is. 32 millimeters diameter divided by 64 right so i equals pi d to the 4 over 64 divided by the length 1.2 squared. So, what does that give me? Pi squared times 200 to the 9 times by pi again times by 32 to the minus 3 to the power 4. Divide that by 64 times by 1.2 squared. So seventy point five five seven kilonewtons. Okay. Right, so the reason why I wanted to find that is because I want to use these ones on the right. So the maximum deflection is going to be E 1 over cos pi over 2 square root of P over P critical take away 1 and what is P? P is 37 kilonewtons that's in, uh, it's in kilonewtons as well Right, so E is 1.2 millimeters, so I'll give you the answer in terms of millimeters. So 1.2 times by, open my bracket, got 1 divided by cos, notice I'm still in radians, pi divided by 2 times by square root of so the P that we're applying is 37 kilonewtons and the Bucklin force is 70.557 kilonewtons. Let's close that bracket and then let's mm, whoops, need to move one away and take, whoops, no I don't want that, take the one away close that bracket and so that then gives me 1.66 and don't forget I've put in my calculator in terms of millimeters so that would be in millimeters so the maximum deflection I expect is 1.66 millimeters okay 
what do you want next? What's the maximum stress in the rod? So, look from above. We've applied this force here slightly off. So what we want is C. So C is going to be half diameter. So C will be half of the diameter. I work in millimeters. So that gives me the diameter is 32. So C is 16. Have I been told what R is? No. So do you remember that we've got I equals area R G squared. So R equals I over area square root. Uh, you could substitute algebraically here and then uh, see what you got here. So we got so I is pi d to the power four over sixty four area is going to be pi d squared over four. So we end up with a d, the pi's cancel, and then I've got one over sixty four divided by one over four which means that becomes a 1 over 16. Correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah, 1 over 16. So we've got the square root of 1 over 16. So that means we've got d over 4. I think we saw a result like that in a previous kind of question. So the rg value that we want to use is going to be d over 4, the c is going to be d over 2, and the e is specified as 1.2 millimeters. So let's uh, use the formula to find the maximum stress. So that's going to be stress max equals load over area open your bracket 1 plus e over c r g squared multiplied by 1 over cos pi over 2 p over p r c close bracket close bracket do I have all the terms here probably not the area that straight into my calculator. So we've got P, so we'll give you the answer in terms of killer. Actually, yeah, I won't bother, I'll put that in. So we've got 37,000 newtons divided by the area. So I know the diameter, so divided by pi times by 32 millimeters squared divided by 4. Whoops, what have I gone wrong there? Divided by 4. Okay, so that's done the first bit. Times by open bracket 1 plus, so in this case I'm going to switch, be a bit naughty, working millimeters everywhere. So we've got E is 1.2 millimeters times by C, C is 16 millimeters, divided by uh, RG, so that is 32 divided by 4, 16, 8 millimeters, divided by 8 millimeters squared. So that's now done this bit. Now times this by 1 divided by cos. I mean radians. Pi divided by 2 times by square root. What's the p value? The p is 37 kilonewtons divided by 70 
0.557 kilonewtons. So those units are fine. Um, close that bracket. And I think I want to close the bracket, but it should work. Right, so that gives me that the stress then should be 78.88 <coughs> megapascals. Okay, so I guess that's fine. 